Hello everyone, Amy Rosavi here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and I have another non-traditional Valentine card to share with you guys. This is for this week's Color Throwdown Challenge, and the challenge was to use craft, gray, yellow, and white together. And for whatever reason, I got thinking about coffee, probably because I think about coffee all the time. So I pulled out this memory box stencil. This is the rings and puddles stencil. I'm almost 100% sure it was retired quite some time ago. Um, so I will link to similar ones because there's all sorts of, you can get stamps as well, not just stencils um, on the market. They're just fun. So I used this one and I taped it over a piece of craft cardstock just with some painter's tape. And I had taped the cardstock itself down onto my little craft sheet to keep it from um, shifting while I sponged a couple different colors of Distress Ink over it and I just used brush corduroy and ground espresso distress ink and lightly sponge the colors on with my little mini ink blending tool and once I was happy with it I removed the cardstock before just grabbing a baby wipe to quickly wipe off um, the stencil that's generally how I clean it when I'm using inks if I'm using other mediums like embossing paste that sort of thing um, I clean that in the sink just because it's easier so I did that and then I die cut some of MFT's daffodil cardstock with one of the dies from MFT's Horizontal Stitched Strips Dynamics. And then I die cut a couple pieces of cardstock as well as some pattern paper with Simon Says Stamp Coffee Cup die. And then the Horizontal Stitched Strip here, I am coating it with my anti-static powder tool and that just keeps the embossing powder from sticking to anything but the stamped sentiment. And the sentiment I am using is from the Hero Arts Need Caffeine stamp set that I showed in a haul video a month or two ago, not too long ago. And I'm inking it up with Versamark uh, ink, which is just a really sticky, clear ink. So I'm stamping that onto the one side of the strip and then I'm coating it with Ranger's Ultra Fine White Embossing Powder. And I just do that over a coffee filter so that I can funnel the embossing powder back into the container without making a big mess. And then I'm gonna heat the embossing powder with my heat tool until it's melted, which does not take very long. And then I just let it cool off um, for a few seconds. It doesn't take long to cool off, but yeah, let it cool off for a few seconds because I actually have made the mistake of touching it too soon and like melted embossing powder can burn. It doesn't feel good. So I let it cool off and that's when I'll just um, get the embossing powder back in the container so I don't knock it over. And then I just use my fingers to rub off um, any of that anti-static powder that was still coating the cardstock. And once I was done with that, I was playing around with these little coffee cup size and it die cuts the coffee cup as well as the little heart and then it removes the little top piece there. So I kept the hearts and decided to kind of mix it up and alternate which hearts went inside which cup. And I found the easiest way to do that was to flip it over and then just use a piece of scotch tape to adhere the heart into place. So I kind of mixed and matched with it and then I decided I ended up die cutting um, a scrap of some red cardstock and use that to add a red heart to the white cup. I just thought that was my little kind of ode to Valentine's with that. The rest of it just keeping it um, with the color challenge. So once I had everything um, adhered with those little hearts, I'm going to start putting this actual, the card actually together. So I'm going to tear down the sentiment strip first and then... Um, I really fiddled with how I wanted these coffee cups. I kind of had an idea in my head from the beginning to have them, you know, stacked together, you know, kind of teetering on the edge of the card. And then I decided I wanted to add um, another form of texture. So I've got my uh, doodle bug chunky twine and this stuff, when they call it chunky twine, it really is. <laughs> it is quite heavy duty. So I cut two little pieces of that and kind of figured out where I wanted them to go on my card. And I wrap them around the card front like I normally do. And then I'm just going to tape them down with scotch tape as well. And after I did this, I was like, I don't know how well this is going to hold because this stuff is just, it's so chunky. So rather than worry about it, um, I just grabbed my Ranger Multimedia Matte Adhesive. And since it has that little fine tip applicator... Um, I was able to just insert that right along the edges there and just squeeze in a little bit extra adhesive, which once this stuff dries, this twine is not going anywhere. And it works really nicely because the tape is covering it there. So I don't have to worry about it. I can let it, it'll take a while to dry, but because the tape's covering it, I don't have to let it sit for, you know, an hour or whatever. Um, I can just flip this card back over and keep working on it. So I just squeeze the adhesive along each piece there of the twine underneath the tape 
and then it's just good to go. And now that it's dry, it's not going anywhere. So I figured out where I wanted to tie the bow on to this. And then for the cups themselves, once I was happy with how um, I had them stacked, I found the easiest way to adhere them was to adhere them all together from the backside of them with more tape. I used a lot of tape on this card. <laughs> so got those all adhered together and then um, popped them all up with some foam dubs. I could use foam tape, but I still have a ton of these dimensionals. Um, in my stash and I like them for things like this. So place the dimensionals um, in areas where they were not going to interfere with the twine here and then pop these little coffee mugs onto my card front and then of course I had to add a few little enamel dots. So I had some in my stash that were a very close match to this yellow. So I just added three of those to the card front and then the card base itself is just heavyweight white cardstock that is cut to four and a quarter by 11 inches. And I'm gonna score it at five and a half with my Teflon bone folder. And um, that'll make a standard A2 sized cards of four and a quarter by five and a half inches and a top folding card. So I score it with my bone folder and then I always um, line up, like fold the card and line it up to make sure everything lines up straight and then I actually scored it straight and then I press down the crease with my bone folder. And then I added some foam tape to the back of this craft card panel here and adhered that to the card base. And then to finish off the inside of the card, I'm just using a couple more stamps from the Need Caffeine stamp that I used for the sentiment on the front. And I just grabbed some daffodil and some grout gray dye ink from MFT. And I inked up um, the coffee cup image with the daffodil ink and then the little steam with the grout gray ink. And that completed the card. So if you're interested in any of the supplies used, as well as links to any other cards I made in the series, um, check out my blog post that's linked directly below the video. Um, all the links to everything I used um, will also be in the description box below the video, so check that out if any of that interests you. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!